This sniper shotgun build is able to kill Apocalypse bosses extremely fast. With this build we make use of instantaneous reload and increased swap speed so we can cycle through two massively powerful one-shot weapons to maximize our damage output especially during those damage burst phases. So how exactly does this build work? This build is mostly built on the back of two things the Provisioner Ring, and most importantly, the Sidewinder skill from the Gunslinger archetype. The intent of this build is to be able to swap between both weapons, spamming out as many shots as we can to maximize our damage output. The downside of this build is that its peak DPS relies on the short 12 second skill of the Sidewinder. However, that 12 seconds alone is enough to take down on about half of a boss's health, and in some cases of some aberrations and some weaker bosses, it's enough to kill them in one go. Go. With this build, we'll be using the Spore Bloom Shotgun and the Sure Shot Handgun. The reason for these options is that both have the strongest damage per shot in their respective categories. The Spore Bloom performs best at close ranges and the Sure Shot performs best at long ranges. And this is actually a plus for this build. If we were to build around strictly close range weapons such as the Double Barrel Shotgun alongside the Spore Bloom, then we'd constantly feel pressure to remain hugging the bosses or else we'd be missing out on damage. And the Sure Shot gives that bit of a freedom for us to take fights at any ranges. And also, you may be noticing my crosshair. In random 2, the crosshair will increase depending on how much spread a shotgun has. Yet, my shotgun has a crosshair so tiny, it's almost like the spread has perfect accuracy. And well, that's because it does. With this build, we bring the spread down a full 100%, making it perfectly accurate. RNG is completely out of the question here when it comes to weapon spread, it just comes down to skill when using these weapons. So you get a little bit how this build works, now let's see what items we're using and talk about the choices that were made, and what items can be swapped out for something of your choice. Starting off with the armor, this is irrelevant to the build itself, build however you want. However, I'd recommend using something light or medium, as you'll be running a regular build that will be requiring you to be dodging as usual. And moving on to the relic, this is also up to you. You can use something that heals you like usual, but you can also opt in for increased mod generation if you want to keep your mods running, or even use the diverting heart to allow us to pump out more sidewinders, meaning our burst phases will come more frequently. As for the relic fragments, we go with the usual crit chance and crit damage increase, but this time around I also opted in for the 30% weapon spread decrease, because I really like the perfect accuracy shotgun vibes. However, realistically you could change this for reload speed, weapon swap speed, or weak spot damage increase and all three of those would be very beneficial for this build. Moving on to the weapons, for the primary we've got the Spore Bloom with the Ghost Shell. As far as this mutator goes, I was experimenting with it, and it's actually quite good. However, for damage, you'd likely still be better off with the Momentum Mutator. But I enjoyed the Ghost Shell as it didn't really require me to stack up any buffs to make use of that 15% extra crit chance. There is also a wildcard mutator you can use, the Bandit. The Bandit Mutator, if you're just lucky enough, will refund shots straight into your Spore Bloom with a 30% chance. Meaning, with a whole lot of luck, you can gain several shots with the Spore Bloom without ever having to reload, allowing you to pump out a massive amount of damage in a very short period of time. But personally, I don't like to rely on RNG very much, so I skipped out on this one, but try it out for yourself as it can be extremely powerful if everything goes well. The melee weapon is also irrelevant, but I guess if there is something you want to make out of it, use the Transference Mutator on your favorite melee weapon to help you with ammo if ammo is being an issue recommended to use transference on a melee weapon that has a range charge attack such as the Huntress Spear or the Krell Axe so you don't put yourself at risk when trying to regain some ammo back. For the handgun, like we said earlier, we use the Sure Shot, as the synergy between both weapons allows you to take fights at any ranges as well as both weapons have the strongest per shot damage out of all of the options, making our burst phases even stronger. For the Mutator, we use the Twisting Wounds to constantly keep up a bleed time on our boss which is going to be very necessary because of our amulet, which in this case is the good old abrasive whetstone, which improves our critical hits against bleeding targets which will be all of our targets. Moving over to the last part of the gear is the rings. 
The most important ring for this build is the Provisioner Ring, which will constantly regenerate our stalled weapon, and will allow our damage to essentially double when not using Sidewinder, because by the time we reload any of our two weapons, the other weapon has already got its ammo back, so we can take a shot with each weapon every time we reload, rather than just the one. As for the Xenia's Malice and the Probability Cord, we use them to max out on DPS, and I opted in for the Gunslinger Ring, since our burst phases depend heavily on weapon swap, and our non-burst phases depend heavily on reload speed, so it's the best of both worlds. Now let's go on to the archetypes, where we use the typical hunter-gunslinger choices. Hunter with its trusty hunter's mark, and the gunslinger uses the sidewinder ability, which is the absolute most important part of this build, this cannot be changed no matter what. Now let's move on to the traits. For the traits, I recommend just getting enough handling points to be at that 100% weapon spread. You can get away with less spread, but personally, I really dig the sniper shotgun approach. And so that's what I did. For me, that only took 9 points into handling with the combination of the weapon spread concoction. You should also get expertise to have that burst phase come as often as possible, and footwork to help you dodge attacks more easily while bursting down enemies. And the other 35 or so trait points you can really insert wherever you'd like. What you see on your screen there is what I was running, and it felt like a good balance between doing a lot of damage, being really fast, and having quite decent survivability. Now let's take on a boss and quickly talk about how we should use this build out there in the playing field. Alright, so we're going to be taking on Farin again, uh, just like last video, because I'm farming Lossom quite hard. So I'm going to pop both abilities here to walk into the room doing as much DPS as I can. Shoot, swap, shoot, swap, shoot, swap. And there we go. He's already down about 40% health. Um... And as you can see, because of the Provisioner Ring, now that I'm out of the Burst phase, uh, pay attention at the bottom right of the screen. Every time I shoot him once with each gun, when I reload, the other weapon's back. Watch, I'm reloading the Spore Bloom, Sure Shot's back. Here we go again, ready? Reloading Spore Bloom, Sure Shot's back. One more time. Reloading Spore Bloom, Sure Shot's back. And that's why we use the Provisioner Ring. And he's already down to 25% and I've only essentially had to dodge, what, one or two boss mechanics? This build does an insane amount of damage, man. I really like this build. It can be a bit tough if you struggle with dodging. Like this. <laughs> Let me heal here. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, I got quite lucky there. Okay, he's gonna go away here. And uh, Sidewinder is already back. I'm gonna go for a kill here in a second. Oh my god, if I don't get slammed by these. Okay, he's gonna go away. I'm gonna get him here on the next one. I'm gonna pop Sidewinder here in a second. I think I'll use it right now. Maybe that was a bit early. Alright, here we go. He's back. Shoot, swap, shoot, swap, shoot, swap. And you're dead. 6,000 crit to finish off the fight and he is dead just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this build man. This build is insane for DPS. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one with another crazy build. You guys have a good one. Peace.